कैन यू एक्सप्लेन लिस्ट कलेक्शन विथ रियल लाइफ एनोलॉजी इमेजिन एवेंजर्स विच इज टीम ऑफ सुपर हीरो हु लिव्स इन द एवेंजर टॉवर वेन एवर एन इमरजेंसी सिचुएशन अराइजेस आयन मैन एंड जार्विस नीड टू फिगर आउट विच सुपर हीरो टू सेंड ऑन दिस मिशन वन डे थेनोस अटैक द अर्थ जार्विस न्यू दैट थॉर वॉज द मोस्ट पॉवरफुल एवेंजर हु कैन डिफीट द थेनोस बट ही डिड एंड न्यू वेयर थॉर वॉज ही हैड टू चेक एवरी रूम इन द टॉवर बिच टूक लॉन्गर टाइम बाय द टाइम जार्विस फाउंड थॉर Thanos has already destroyed the half of the universe. To avoid this mistake in the future, Jarvis assign each Avenger room number. Thor's room number is 1, Hulk's room number is 2 and so on. In this way, Jarvis can quickly find any Avenger he needs by looking at their room number. In programming, list is a data structure which works similar to how Jarvis assigns room numbers to Avenger. List is an ordered collection of elements and each element in the list has an index. We can access any element in a list by using its index. So Jarvis can store Avenger into room and list can store objects at some index for example if we have list of superheroes we can access thor by using its index which is 1 we can also add or remove any elements from the list we can sort elements in the list list is like arrays but it is much more powerful than array we can implement list in java using array list class which is present in java.util package now let's see how we can create array list in java first when we want to use list we import something called array list class from special package called java.util this package has tools that help us to do things easily now we can create an array list in a main method we will be storing names of heroes in the array list so we will create an array list of type string array list string heroes is equal to new array list statement creates the array list of type string this array list will used to store names of the avenger now our array list is ready and we can start adding elements into it we can use add function to add element heroes dot add thor statement will add thor into array list Similarly heroes.add hulk statement will add hulk into array list we can continue adding elements to the array list in this way just like finding heroes in the room we can find items in the list by using their position to access elements at any position in array list we can use get method but remember the counting starts from 0 statement heroes.get will return name of the first element in array list which is thor if you are curious about how many heroes are there in a the tower means how many things are there in the list we can use size function to find it out if there are five heroes it will show five the size method returns the number of elements in the array list similarly if we want to search any element and get the index of any element in an array list we can use index of function and pass the element to it means if we want to store at what index spider man is save then we will use heroes dot index of spider man so this statement will return 3 and if element is not present then index of function will return minus 1 similarly you can perform lot of operations on array list like Like sorting and removing the elements you can see the syntax on the screen if you want to understand how array list is better than arrays and how array list works internally you can check out my youtube video for it that's it for today's video if you like this video then subscribe to my channel for more such videos